Celebrity Shade is the best shade, and its purest form comes in off-the-cuff moments. Whether it's Taylor Swift hissing at an ex or Leonardo DiCaprio throwing the eyebrows of doom at Lady Gaga, we're here for all of it. Here are some of the shadiest celeb reactions caught on live TV. Drake is a Toronto Raptors superfan who took full advantage of his courtside seats one night when Indiana Pacer Rodney Stuckey went out of bounds and lost the ball. Leaping out of his seat, Drake sarcastically applauded the turnover right next to Stuckey's ear. This isn't the first time Drake has gotten heated during a game either, as he's developed a reputation for his trash talk and other courtside antics. There was the epic stare down he gave Kevin Durant after the Raptors scored a three-pointer on the Warriors, then there was the time he trash talked Justin Holiday so hard while he was trying to throw the ball inbounds, forcing a five-second violation. Obviously, when it comes to defending his Raptors, Drake doesn't hold back. As he told ESPN, I've supported the franchise through our ups and downs. More than anything, I'm a Toronto guy. I'm a city guy. I care about the city more than anything in the world. Ten minutes of interviewing White House counselor Kellyanne Conway was clearly enough for Anderson Cooper, who famously rolled his eyes at her on camera during an episode of Anderson Cooper 360. Conway had stopped by to talk about President Trump's recent firing of FBI Director James Comey. Cooper played several clips of Trump actually praising Comey during his presidential campaign, to which Conway sarcastically responded, you're conflating two things that don't belong together. Thanks for the trip down memory lane. I was on your show often last fall saying we were going to win Michigan and how we were going to do it. So that was fun. But the CNN host later told Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Live that he regretted the moment and that he never wants anyone to feel disrespected on his show. But that didn't stop Conway from accusing him of sexism during an appearance on Fox & Friends. Could you imagine rolling your eyes having a male anchor on a network roll eyes at, at Hillary Clinton. During an interview with The Wall Street Journal in 2014 to promote her latest album, the late Aretha Franklin was asked to give her one-word reactions on various singers in the business. Despite her diva reputation, Franklin actually had glowing things to say about just about everyone, including Adele, Alicia Keys, and Taylor Swift. But when Nicki Minaj's name came up, Franklin completely sidestepped. Nicki Minaj, hmm. Now I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> we may never know if Franklin really meant to diss Minaj or she had just literally never heard of her. Either way, Minaj eventually got the R-E-S-P-E-C-T she deserved a few years later, when she ended Franklin's 40-year reign for most Billboard 100 hits for a female artist in any genre. When the late Joan Rivers went on CNN in 2014 to promote her new book, things got tense pretty quickly between her and anchor Frederica Whitfield. Honestly, it was hard to tell who was shading who, as Whitfield made several comments that put Rivers on the defensive, which Rivers expertly volleyed back. For example, when Whitfield said Rivers' red carpet fashion routine was mean, Rivers quipped, These ladies make $28 million a picture. You really think that uh, 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 Nicki Minaj cares? I didn't like her dress. By the time Whitfield oh so casually noted how Rivers wears fur on the cover of her book, even though she knew there would probably be animal rights activists reading it, Rivers lost it. Oh. Are you wearing leather shoes? Yeah, and shut no, up. I'm talking. Oh. Rivers then proceeded to get up and storm off the set. Amazingly, Whitfield seemed unfazed, smiling and telling viewers afterwards that Rivers was indeed serious. Rivers didn't return to the interview, but off camera, she kept her microphone on as she continued to talk and drop some rather unflattering four-letter words. When an interviewer disrespects famous people, some celebs immediately return the favor. Take, for example, when Samuel L. Jackson stopped by KTLA Morning News in 2014 to promote the RoboCop remake, reporter Sam Rubin couldn't wait to ask him all about his career. But the problem was, he confused Jackson with another African-American actor, Lawrence Fishburne. Right after asking Jackson about his Super Bowl commercial that actually featured Fishburne and then seeing the confused look on Jackson's face, he realized his flub and apologized for the mix-up. Jackson, of course, didn't let this go by without totally taking him down. I'm You're the blog. entertainment reporter right. for this station? He's and you don't know the difference between I me know. and Lawrence Fishburne? Ruben sputtered apologies and later ended the interview by saying, And I'm probably going to get spanked in the most extraordinary way with, uh, with good reason. A month later, Jackson still wouldn't let it go, tweeting a photo of himself wearing a shirt saying, I'm not Lawrence Fishburne. Fishburne, for his part, has noted that this is a common mistake. Uh, once upon a time, people used to confuse Al Pacino and Dustin Hoffman. It's not a bad problem to have. Not at all. 
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.